I'm new to Pinnacle Homes and Projects. My name is Michael Emmanuel, and I'm from Pinnacle Homes and Projects. I'm representing Pinnacle Homes and Projects in this video where we try to explain to our clients and to the market what is new tech houses. There is a lot of misinformation in the market and a lot of people, they do not know what is exactly a new tech house or the new tech products themselves. So I'll start explaining what is the new tech itself, the board itself, what is new tech. New tech is a board that is made of fiber cement. It's a man-made fiber cement board mm -hmm. that is manufactured here in South Africa and also from the Far East, Southeast Asia, Malaysia, Thailand, India, Indonesia, and other countries in the Asian uh, continent. So new tech houses, they are quite durable. They are houses that are as good as the conventional brick houses. And if I were to encourage you, I would encourage you to build a new tech house because they are as good as brick houses. So we have got different sizes of new tech houses. We have got sizes starting from three meter by three meter, which is your smaller uh, one room house. And then we have got sizes starting from uh, as little as 2 meter by 2 meter, 2.4 by 2.4, 1.4, uh, 1.2 by 1.2. These are normally the guard rooms or security tags, or they can be used as storage or for storage purposes. And then the 3 meter by 3 meter, they are for living purposes, storage, or it can be a, a home office because a lot of people now, they prefer to work from home. So those are the starting points that we have. Like I explained, guard rooms, 1.2 by 1.2, 2.4 by 2.4, storages, 1.2 by 1.2, guard rooms, 2.4 by 2.4. We then go also to 3 meter by 3 meter, which is your smallest unit where one can live, or it can be used as a storage, or it can be used as a guard room, or it can be used as an office. Then we go to 3 meter by 6 meter, which is also a house that can be used for living purposes. Someone can live there, be it a couple, it's a big enough, it's about 18 square meters. And it can also be used as an office, storage, and guard room, and other purposes. So apart from 3 meter by 6 meter, we also have 3 meter by 9 meter. 3 meter by 9 meter is quite big because then it accommodates a bedroom, open plan kitchen and sitting room, and a bathroom, toilet, basin, and shower. And then we have a 3 meter by 12 meter after the 3 meter by 9 meter, which is your bigger space that gives you enough space for a big bedroom, bathroom, toilet, basin, and shower, open plan kitchen, and sitting room. It can also give you two bedrooms, though the bedrooms will be smaller in size because each bedroom in that house is nine square meters or three by three. So we encourage you to look at the need of space and perhaps if it's a three by 12, get it, uh, get it as a one bedroom so that the other space can be your open plan kitchen and sitting room, whereas the other space left can be your toilet, basin and shower. We do have other two bedroom units that are quite bigger. These ones are three meter by 15 meter, which is 45 square meters. It can come in the dimension of nine meter by five meter. This is a bigger space for two bedrooms and it can also accommodate bigger space in terms of the open plan sitting and kitchen uh, space and also toilet, basin and shower in your bathroom. Upwards, we have got six meter by nine meter. Before six meter by nine meter, we also have 48 square meters. We have 12 meter by four meter or four meter by eight meter. And these are also quite big spaces that you can choose to build from. We also have eight meter by six meter, which is your 48 square meters. And then we've got nine by six or six by nine, which is your 54 square meter. This is a sizable house, giving you enough space for two bedrooms, open plan kitchen and sitting room, toilet, basin and shower. And then on top of that, we have got a 60 square meters, which is your six meter by 10 meter, or 12 meter by five meter, or 15 meter by four meter, big enough to accommodate two bedrooms or other people, they can make it three bedrooms, open plan kitchen and sitting room with also your toilet, basin, shower. 
the 60 square meters is the standard size of most of the flats in South Africa that people rent uh, in complexes. And it does give you the enough space for your furniture, living purposes, your kitchen, and your two bedrooms. If you want, like I said, you can have three bedroom store, you'll be minimizing the space of your uh, open plan kitchen and sitting room. We do have six meter by 12 meter, or say the two square meters. This is an ideal size for a three bedroom because then it will give you three bedrooms which are 12 square meter each. And then the living area and kitchen and bathroom in the other 36 square meters, meaning that your bedrooms are going to be three meter by four meter times three, giving you 36 square meters and your bathroom six square meters, leaving you with a 30 square meter space for your toilet, uh, for your open plan kitchen and sitting room with your six meters, uh, six square meter being your uh, bathroom. So you can see that the higher you go in size, the bigger space it accommodates three bedrooms and other bedrooms more than three, so perhaps four bedrooms. So for four bedrooms, then I would encourage you to go for 84 square meters, 90 square meters, 120 square meters. So we built new tech houses that are custom design, meaning that it is you, the client, who can tell us exact size that you want us to build. You can come with your drawings, your specifications, and your square meters, your plan, and then we can build according to your custom design. And upwards 84 square meters, we do have 90 square meters. This can be 15 by six square meters, or it can be nine by 10. We do have also 108 square meters. We do have 120 square meters. Mostly in these houses that are from 90 square meters, you would find out that people normally prefer to have two bathrooms, even for 60 square meters. Even for 54 square meters, it is your choice if you prefer to have two bathrooms. We can be able to build a house that has got two bathrooms for you. Others, they prefer to have a garage. By a garage, I mean a space where you can be able to park your car. We can build you a single garage or a double garage, depending with your choice. Garages can be 15 square meters, 18 square meters, 24 square meters, or 36 square meters. These garages, they can be double, for example, the 36 square meters, or they can be single, perhaps like the 15 square meters. And they can also be built with on concrete floor base, pitched roof or flat roof, new tech end planks or new tech flat boards. And they can also have the normal garage door. It's optional for you to have a, a small door leading to the house or a window on that garage though for safety reasons would encourage it to be closed without any door or any uh, window unless if the door is leading from the garage towards the, the inside of the house and normally there is a barrier that is put there which you call fire pool, uh, uh, firewall so this firewall is normally built uh, in brick and it prevents any accident from happening when one is parking his car there can be issues with the brakes. There can be anything that can happen if someone is trying to park and you don't want the car to drive through inside the house where the people live. That's why we built and partition it with a brick, which we call the firewall. And another reason is for the purposes of the fire, this firewall from the name itself fire, in terms of fire prevention and also management of fires. So this is what we do at Pinnacle Homes. We build new tech houses that are custom designed or from the standard new tech houses that I have mentioned, the three meter by three meter, three meter by six meter, three meter by nine meter, three meter by 12 meter, three meter by 15. We also build very big houses. We can build 120 square meters, 12 by 10, 20 by three, or we can build big houses more than 120 square meters. This can be 150 square meters, 160 square meters, 140 square meters, 180 square meters, 200 square meters, 240 square meters, 300 square meters. All these houses, like I, I mentioned, they are custom designed, meaning that it is you, the client, who decide how many rooms you want in that house. You will decide the design of that house. 
you decide how you want that house to look like. So we welcome you to send us through the emails, your drawings, your designs, and then work out quotations according to your designs. Remember, a new tech house can, can take any design of a normal conventional brick house. So if you do have even plans of any house, you are welcome to bring those ones to us and we can quote you accordingly. So that is what we are doing at Pinnacle Homes. We built new tech houses which are made of fiber cement. They come with extras like toilet, basin and showers, electricity, DB box plugs and wiring. They also come with uh, geysers, kitchen sinks and cupboard, bathroom tiling. We also do the skimming of the walls, which is the uh, plastering of the walls soon after we have done the uh, board lining and ceiling. So it's, it's basically the equivalent of the brick plastering. So inside our houses, we have got an OSB board and on top of it, we knock what we call the Rhino board. And on top of the Rhino board, we skim over to give a fine, smooth finishing and we then paint. So these are the inside extras that we do. Toilet, basin and shower, electricity, DB box, plugs, wiring. The number of plugs, they vary depending with the number of, uh, with the size of the house. Giza, and we also do your kitchen sink and cupboards, double or single cupboard, floor tiling in the bathroom, floor tiling of the entire house, laminated floorings in the bedrooms, and we also can paint your house, inside and outside painting. We do the electrical geysers, 150, 200 liters, depending with your size. We do instant water heaters or the instant water heaters. This, these are the ones that works only when you open the tap to bath or to use uh, on the basin. They are uh, connected to electricity or they can be connected to gas and you save a lot of electricity because you are only using them when it's necessary. Unlike the traditional geyser, the electrical one. So this is the geyser, uh, the geysers that we do. And then we also have the ceilings, which we are doing at Pinnacombs for our clients. These are the six millimeter board ceilings. However, some of the clients, they decide to have uh, exposed beams, you know, where you can expose your beams so clients can see. That can be arranged, that can be done as well. Because we do have ISO boards that we also knock in, 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 in our ceilings for those who prefer to have ISO boards and those who prefer to have exposed beams. So those are the type of ceilings that we do. The ceilings that follows the pitch, which is your uh, one, the one that, that is the exposed beams and the flat one, the one that goes flat with the roof of the house. Normally this one is knocked uh, on six millimeter gypsum normal boards. And then in our electrical, we work with qualified electricians where we sign COCs, which means that we bring to you qualified electricians that sign COCs. Everything that we do, it means it's certified and it is compliant and it is in line with the regulations of electrical and engineering, especially the standards of the country and the South African Peru of standards. The same with plumbing. We also offer COCs or Certificate of Compliances. We have got traceable references, meaning that should you want to engage us to build your project or to contract us, we can give you references of the places where we have worked. We have done a lot of projects since we started our operations. We have done projects as far as Eastern Cape, uh, Blue Waters Bay, Crute Park in George, uh, Clay William up the West Coast, and throughout the Western Cape. We are not limited to any place geographically. If you are called to build in any place in South Africa, or in any town, or in any city, we are able to build because we are there to build new tech houses no matter where you, you might be located. So this is what we do at Pinnick Homes. And if you want more information, we have got our website, which is www.pinnickworms.co.za. My name is Michael Emmanuel, and I represent Pinnacle Homes and Projects. And for more information, you can go to our website. Our contact details are there. You can phone us, and you can 
get as much information as you can from us with regards to the new tech houses. One thing that I would like to, 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 to leave with you is that when you decide to build with new tech houses, you are saving a lot of money because the new tech houses, they are a cheaper alternative housing solution compared to the brick in terms of the price itself. And they are faster to build, quick to assemble, waterproof, fire resistant, light, meaning that you can even build on top of your house. We build structures on top of houses. If you have got a house and you want us to build on top to make it a double story, we can do that. We can build on top of an existing house with a balcony, with everything there on top because they are very light. Remember, we use timber for framing, which is light, and that makes it possible to assemble these houses quicker and to build them quicker and they are cost effective in terms of building a brick. Perhaps you might need to compare a 120 square meter house that is built on brick houses before you give me a call or a 36 square meter house that is built on brick, a 48 square meter, a 56, a 60 square meter, a 72. Please do that so that when I give you a quotation, you are able to do the comparison so that you, you will be able to see which one is cost effective and which one should you go for. The wind houses, they are quite good houses, but gradually as we entered 2010-11, they started to become less popular uh, compared to the new tech houses. Most of the people opted for the new tech houses for obvious reasons. New tech houses are durable, quicker to build, water resistant, fire resistant. They also have an element of sound resistant. Remember, we also install or we put the um, uh, isotherm, which means that when you put the isotherm, you are limiting the sound itself. So there is an element of sound resistant within our houses. We also do um, OSB boards, which makes these walls more thicker, you know, almost compared to the brick houses. So I encourage you to go for new tech houses should you decide to build any alternative um, housing solution. If you decide to go for any alternative to the brick, the new tech currently is the best answer for you. Because when you walk out, walk in and any new tech houses, you won't be able to tell a difference. Here on our YouTube channel, there is a lot of new tech videos that we have put. So when you finish watching this, this video, you are welcome and you are free to browse through our pictures on our website, on our Facebook pages, Pinnacle Homes and Projects, New Tech Homes Cape Town, New Tech Houses Cape Town, and New Tech Homes Western Cape. These are our pages on Facebook and also the ones that you see on our website. And if you go on our YouTube channel, you see there's a lot of videos of our work. I'll just try to show you one of the pictures here. I'll just try to get inside my... Um, email and show you some of the pictures of the new tech houses for those of you who cannot be able to uh, go into the uh, websites and other channels that i've mentioned or to go on facebook i'll open some of the pictures that you can see and for you to be able to know what is a new tech house so i've got pictures that i, I have here i'm just gonna show you now so that you can see what i mean by new tech houses so these are the new tech houses. These are the new tech houses. I'm sure you can see from this picture, this is the new tech house. This is a three meter by three meter new tech house. And uh, this is also a new tech house, an entertainment center that you see there. And this is the inside when you are building the new tech house. And this is the inside during the construction. And this is the inside. So these are the type of new tech houses that we built. As you can see, skimmed inside, it does look like a, a real house. And these are the guys that we work with. And these are the drawings of the plans. And these are some of the projects that we have done. This is a beautiful house, as you can see. All these are new tech houses. This is a 48 square meter house. And these are some of the houses that we do. So I encourage you to uh, visit our website and when once you visit our website you'll be able to learn more about new tech houses there's quite a lot of information there that is um, on our website and if you give us a call we are able to structure a quotation according to your needs and 
perhaps with, with your budget, you'll be able to choose the right size for your new tech house. And we built even double stories. If you browse through our pictures, you see that we built double stories. We built on top of the uh, existing houses and we can build bigger structures like classrooms, schools, offices, churches, clinics, storages, anything that you might require. So thank you for watching. Uh, this is Michael Emmanuel from Pinnacle Homes and Projects. It was nice speaking to you. And till we meet again, and till we communicate again about new tech houses, enjoy your day.